It is that time of year again. Anyone who's been to the beach lately, you know there's a lot of seaweed out there. Researchers at Florida Atlantic University, they say 2018 had some of the most sargasm we've seen on our beaches. South County reporter Miranda Christian tells us they say this year could be even worse. Crystal clear water and a light breeze is a perfect beach day for Vicki Reese. It's my happy place. Reese walks the beach every day and says it's the time of year where she notices the seaweed start to wash in. It's been coming in for about a couple weeks now. For the past several years, scientists at Florida Atlantic University have noticed more sargasm in the ocean. We think of it as too much of a good thing. Brian LaPointe has studied sargasm since the 80s. His team's latest find is a 35% nitrogen increase in the sargasm tissue. It's like the canary in the coal mine, right? It's out there as like a barometer of global change. LaPointe says a mixture of humans and the environment has led to the nitrogen increase. Sargasm is used by sea life as a habitat at sea, but the study has found less living creatures in the seaweed. The point adds that large blooms created problems for tourism on coastal beaches. Cities and counties have been spending millions of dollars to help clear the seaweed off of their beaches. Some of those hotels on the beach, I mean, you're not going to stay there if, if it's covered in rotting algae. LaPointe says 2018 was the largest sargasm bloom they've seen. He says this year could be close to that. The fix to the problem will need more research, but he says reducing our nitrogen footprint is the first place to start. The ultimate solution, say for South Florida, is cleaning up the water north of Lake Okeechobee, where it starts. In Palm Beach County, I'm Miranda Christian, WPTV News Channel 5.